Hi, my name is Charlie Zygmunt. I'm an accounting consultant from Portland, Oregon, and today we're taking a look at how to record a basic task in Excel in a way that makes it repeatable so that we can do it again with a simple press of a button. Um, this is essentially writing a program, but I feel like to even call it that is not fair given how easy it is. All we've done here is we just opened up Excel, and then on the left side of the screen, we hit the button next to the word ready to go ahead and start recording recording what's called a subroutine and that saves inside of the visual basic editor one of the choices that you have to make after you press the button is to decide whether or not to save the workbook inside of your current workbook or whether or not you want to save it in the personal XLSB workbook um, the purpose of that is to just carry that routine into a later workbook as you make them and um, so you can see here what I'm doing is setting up the terms of the loan including the principal the interest the number number of years and the number of months and then I'm using the PNT formula in Excel to detail uh, to determine really what the monthly payments going to be uh, you make sure to pass in your present value as a negative one when you use the PMT formula because um, money's going both ways in a loan. So you want your payment amount to be a positive number, but at the same time, when you started the loan, you must have had a negative number in order for that transaction to make sense. So kind of a weird thing, but that's that's how that formula works. Just make sure to pass in principal as negative. You can see all the code that we're generating here on the right. Um, it sure looks smart, but the reality is I am just clicking around and typing whatever I can think to type, uh, including mistakes even. all Everything that I do is getting recorded in there. And so um, basically at this point what I'm doing is setting up the amortization schedule now that I have the terms laid out. Um, you can see that I set up my beginning and ending balance and then I determine principal by saying whatever part of the payment didn't go to interest is what goes to principal and then I determine the interest by referencing all the terms above. I made sure to divide the interest rate by 12 in order to get it to one that I could use monthly and I made sure to use my period of 60 months just to keep everything um, in line with the terms that we're using in this loan. I'm now just applying some general text formatting. I like to use the, a couple of different features I like to use is the uh, horizontal align, the vertical align, and then the wrap text. Um, you can see some of the variables here are dollars, most of the variables here are dollars, but some of them are percentages and some are just flat numbers. Uh, we'll go with some underlining that looks good and then let's see so yeah so that's basically it we now hit the stop button that saved our macro uh, we'll go ahead and close this workbook and just trust that it's gonna have everything we need and then you can see here we start the we search for the uh, subroutine we created which was called loans and then I press the button and it creates that entire schedule again with the press of a single button we'll take a look at the code that was generated it doesn't really matter this is not so much about what the code is this is more just about what the process is and how do we go up go about automating um, repetitive actions and you can see it looks like a bunch of gibberish and it is but the reality is it works I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching